Hello again everybody and welcome back to the Majestic Mashikasaurus YouTube channel. It's great to have you here. Just a quick introduction here if you're new to this channel, my name is Milo and I love science. What I'm doing on this channel is taking a look at other science on YouTube that is terrible and trying to deconstruct it and show you why it's bad. My last video on the evolution of birds from dinosaurs was very in-depth and took me uh, quite, uh, quite a while to produce because I spent a lot of time researching the topic and scripting out a very clear, well-formatted response. So to take a little bit of a break from that and kind of switch up the format, this video is going to be less of a response and more of a real-time reaction. The video we're going to take a look at today is back at the very reason I started this channel, Christians Against Dinosaurs. There's quite a few videos up on that channel and I'm slowly working through them. This is one that I remember seeing a while ago, but I, it's been a while, so I don't remember every little bit about it. There's really only one part I remember quite distinctly from this video, so hopefully uh, the rest of it will be quite new to me and we'll just kind of react to it as we go. I uh, hope you enjoy, let's just get started. All right, so without further ado, this is me reacting to Christian Zing's Dinosaur's video titled Dinosaur Hoax, Aerodynamics, and play. Hello. Hi, it's Kristen. Hey. Um, <laughs> just wanted to talk to you tonight a little bit about, surprise, dinosaurs. Um, I uh, okay. wanted to specifically talk about the aerodynamics of dinosaurs. So already we've run into a bit of an issue. Uh, I'm not really sure what she means by aerodynamics, as um, the dinosaurs she talks about, excluding birds, uh, were entirely land animals. So there were some uh, of the group of spinosaurids that ventured into the water a little bit, but dinosaurs other than birds did not fly, so I'm not really sure what she's going with the aerodynamics thing. Um, and the lies that these paleontologists have been feeding you hmm. for your entire lives. Yeah, okay in exchange for millions of dollars, uh, pat on the back by the liberally biased media, and um, big high five from all the feminists out there who what? want to kill babies and scream at their bodies, their whatever the heck they scream. What? Okay, 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 I'm gonna watch that again. What is she saying? What? Okay, so the paleontologist feeding you lies in exchange for millions of dollars, a pat on the back from the, what, liberally biased media something, and the feminists that want to kill babies. Okay. What on earth have I gotten myself into? First of all, paleontologists don't make millions of dollars. I don't know where she's getting that idea from. Uh, a lot of the paleontologists I know are just volunteers. They do it because they love it, and it's just... Uh, this is ridiculous. I don't know. This is this is where her ideas quickly turn into a ridiculous conspiracy theory. At this point, it becomes completely unfalsifiable. There's no way that she can prove or get any support behind this, and it just becomes ridiculous. The, the, the scale behind this, like, giant paleontological conspiracy I don't even know what to say at this point. Let's just keep watching. So um, tonight I wanted to talk to you about the pterosaur. Ah. Silent P. What else are you hiding? <laughs> just kidding. Um, and so what the pterosaur was, was it was a... Bad, bad jokes. Um, okay, so if we're going to talk about pterosaurs, it's an important distinction to make between pterosaurs and dinosaurs. Dinosaurs and pterosaurs are very closely related, but pterosaurs, all the flying ones like pterodactyls that you guys have always heard about, are not dinosaurs. They're a closely related group, but they are separate. Um, so if she's going to talk about dinosaurs, excuse me, if she's going to talk about pterosaurs, she can't title this video Dinosaur Hoax, because they're not dinosaurs. Okay. Also, uh, she made a stupid uh, pterosaur silent pee joke, so I'm going to make one as well, because I can. Why can't you hear a pterodactyl go to the bathroom? Because the pee is silent. <laughs> okay. Let's keep going. Before I go insane. And so what the pterosaur was, was it was a flying dinosaur. Uh, I just cleared that up. Pterosaurs and are not flying And it had uh, big Common leathery wings. Very wide. And it supposedly flew. 
so there are some that were very big, there's some that were very small. Uh, there is a group of pterosaurs, the name of which I can never figure out how to pronounce, it starts with an A, I'll put it up on screen, includes things like Hatsigopteryx, Quetzalcoatlus, etc, etc, that were huge. Um, standing without their wings out or anything, just standing straight up, they would have been about as tall as a giraffe, wingspan as small as a small, a small jet or something. So yes, there were huge ones. Uh, but the earliest pterosaurs were very small, um, just a few feet across. Uh, so, you know, there's a, just like dinosaurs, there's a large variation within the whole group. Pterosaurs are very varied as well, so when she says it, the pterosaur, and calls it this very big thing, you, you gotta be a little careful because you're talking about an entire group of animals, not just one specific animal. So, um, I wanted to first cite an experiment that was done yeah. in Minneapolis okay. in 2002. 2002, the year I was born. Hey, cool. Uh, anyway. This is this is the one part of the video I remember. This is I remember the first time I watched this, I, I saw this and I was like, oh, she's citing an experiment. She's actually doing scientific research. Yes, let's go. This is so good. And then it all falls to crap. We'll just okay. <laughs> and what this experiment was was they wanted to take something that they knew would fly and they knew would glide yeah. as the control in an experiment. Good control. And what they decided to use was a kite. Kite. And so they took this kite. A kite, which which glides, does does not does not produce you know wing beats or anything. Does not actively fly. It glides. Just just so you know. And um, they oh took it boy. to the top of a four-story building. It was seventy feet tall. So this is obviously not to scale. I don't remember there being a drawing. Oh, this is phenomenal. Uh, okay, so we got a 70-foot building. Jeez, how tall are those people on top, huh? They gotta be like 10 feet people. It's a huge kite. And so they let it go off of the building, okay. and at two seconds, it was down to 65 feet. At five seconds, it was down to about 45 feet, and then at seven seconds, it was all the way down to about 30 feet. Okay, I'll take your word for so, it. So, in the scale drawing, you can see... Whoa. Scale, scale drawing? I just pointed out that's not to scale. Also, that's very creepy. She puts that paper in front of her face and it all gets dark behind. It's very terrifying. How the kite okay. flew on its own off the building. And what they wanted to do was test out this theory that the pterosaur was actually real and that okay. it had leather wings. So, y what? No, so pterosaurs would not have had leather wings. I mean, you could use the word leathery to kind of try to describe the sort of material it was made of, but it's not leather wings. I, that's leathers from cows <laughs> so what they did was they took um, a very similar substance a very similar thing and they put it on the kite and I let it go. This now. so they took a leather <laughs> jacket out of their closet and as you can see they equipped the kite with the leather jacket and they're still at that same 70 feet but at two seconds they're already down to the 45 feet. <laughs> At no 5 way. seconds, they're down to 12 feet, and God, at 7 seconds, they're all the way down to the ground at 0 feet. On top of it. So in this scale, this scale drawing, ridiculous. you can see the whole difference of where that Who height was known? at each stage of the experiment. Again, scale drawing, that leather jacket is huge. After 7 <laughs> this seconds, is a scale drawing. the kite was on the floor when it was equipped with this leathery wing. Could it have happened in real life? You tell me. So, here's the experiment. We're gonna throw a kite off of a building and time it. And then we put a jacket on the kite and throw it off a building. It takes a shorter amount of time to hit the ground with the jacket on top of it. Therefore, dinosaurs don't exist. I'm gonna let her finish up her conclusion here before I make some more comments. Go to your closet and grab a leather jacket. It'll have any Open up jackets. your window and throw it out. What do you think is going to happen? Uh, it's going to fall. 
guarantee you it's not gonna fly. Uh -huh. It's not gonna go gliding off into the breeze. It's gonna fall like a sack of bricks. This continues to get worse somehow. Okay, here's an analogy I could make. Go to your room. Take your pillow, your your feathered your feathered pillow, your goose stuffed pillow. You shouldn't have feather pillows anyway, but let's say you have a feather pillow. Throw it out the window. I guarantee you it's not gonna fly away. It's not gonna go floating off on the breeze. It's gonna fall like a sack of bricks. Therefore, birds don't exist. That's literally the same thing she just did with the leather jacket. I don't know if you realize um, that uh, a living, breathing creature is different than uh, an inanimate object of somewhat similar materials. Now imagine that leather jacket is 40 feet across. Like the pterosaur. Yeah. Um, 40 foot wingspan. Like I said, there are some that are like, literally, I mean, she's not overestimating there, like a 40 foot wingspan, some of the big ones like Quetzalcoatlus. It's just amazing. But if you made a 40 foot leather jacket, that's the same thing as a pterosaur. I don't understand. With these uh -huh. leather-like membranes Sh on their sure, wings, you could tiny little tail that. that does not allow for leverage. Yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, that's that's somewhat true. Although I think her tail, the fact that she even has a tail on it is incorrect. The the very early pterosaurs had a quite long tail with even like a little flap at the end for like like a rudder. And as the pterosaurs got bigger and bigger, they had less and less need for that tail. And so bigger pterosaur wingspan, smaller the tail got. So by the time you get to these giant pterosaurs like Quetzalcoatlus or Hatsagopteryx, that sort of thing, essentially the tails are non-existent at this point. And these bulging eyes. Big bulging, what? Which have been shown to not be good for flight. Big, whoa. <laughs> Why are the eyes so big? I'm sure their eyes were fairly big, just like, you know, hawks and stuff have great vision when they're flying, you know, high above the earth and need to be scouring down below for any scavenged opportunities or something like that, but, um, I don't think they would be bulging out of the head like that. I don't know where she's so getting these this ideas from. Dinosaur supposedly flew. Not and a dinosaur, dinosaur, and it did fly. Dinosaur supposedly existed and was around, and mm -hmm. you know, it doesn't make sense. This is the type of dinosaur that makes these atheists and these paleontologists sit there and say, "Oh, dinosaurs are just like birds." I find it funny that she groups those two together, atheists and paleontologists. You can be a paleontologist and be religious. You can be an atheist and not be a paleontologist. I have no idea how that's relevant. Oh, dinosaurs are just like birds. Oh yeah, birds, they're, they're what dinosaurs are now. And no, it's not true. Yeah, um, it's, she's really starting to tick me off. Um, just like with that face, like, hey, this is why paleontologists think dinosaurs. Yeah, okay, uh, I have a book for you. Oh, good, it's right here. <laughs> this is Flying Dinosaurs by John Pickrell, uh, How Fearsome Reptiles Became Birds. It's not even 200 pages, I don't think. I think it's like 100, yeah, it's not even, it's like 175 pages. John Pickrell is a phenomenal, I think he's Australian? Yes, a phenomenal science writer. He, this book is super succinct. It's really easy to read, super jam-packed with information on the link between birds and dinosaurs. Definitely read this if you are interested in that sort of thing. Uh, but no, w the pterosaurs are not the reason that uh, paleontologists think that dinosaurs are the ancestors of birds. Pterosaurs are completely different. Birds evolved from the small group of dinosaurs called theropods that include the big, you know, the big spinosaurids and tyrannosaurs and that sort of thing, uh, but Velociraptor and, and those sort of, again, just watch my last video, but pterosaurs are completely separate. Just because they flew doesn't mean that there's a connection between pterosaurs and birds. This, she obviously has not looked into this at all. Like, zero extra research. They never flew, they never existed. Yeah, and the only scientific experiment you can cite to make that claim is that somebody put a leather jacket on a kite and threw it out the window. <laughs> oh my god. Dinosaurs do not equal birds. Well, sure, I mean, they're not the same, and the dinosaur she has there is a sauropod, which makes it, even, makes it seem even more ridiculous. 
I mean, j I don't know. You can't just say, oh, yeah, here's this piece of bone in the ground. It means that there was a dinosaur that had wings and it was made out of leather jackets. What? A dinosaur made out of leather jackets? What? Okay. I... Ugh. Calm it, Milo. Come on. Pterosaurs are not dinosaurs. Dinosaurs, excluding birds, did not have wings. And never was there a dinosaur made out of a leather jacket. And yes, we can find fossils in the ground. And if you know what you're looking for, and you know enough about fossils and anatomy and skeletons, etc., then you can identify what animal or what part of an animal fossils came from. Just because you don't understand how this works doesn't mean nobody does. That is an argument from ignorance. Talked about that. Whatever else they're too. trying to say, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't exist. So I think with these experiments that have been proven uh -huh. and just common sense in general. Common sense. You common sense. Do you even know what that is? You can say that there's no way that this dinosaur, this pterosaur, ever existed the way that paleontologists are saying that they did. Why not? And at that point, I think it's safe to say, what else are you hiding? <laughs> we pause that. No. <laughs> Why is that so funny? The way that the, like... The white paper, like, makes everything else behind, like, I'm, I'm living, I'm living a horror movie right now. Paleontologists. If that's not real, then what else isn't? I'm gonna guess everything. I'm gonna guess you're dumb. Anyway, thank you for joining me, watching. Okay. <clears throat> Let's wrap this up. Dinosaurs are not pterosaurs. Pterosaurs are not made out of leather jackets. I don't know what else, what else did she say in this video. <laughs> um, I don't know, I really hope I don't need to say any more. The only, she had one scientific article. Not even an article, not even an article. One study, I don't know where she got the study from. One, where you put a leather jacket on a kite and threw it out the window. That's the only experiment she cited, which if you used common sense, makes no sense. I have no idea how long this video is going to be. Um, I don't know if that was entertaining or informative at all. I'm in a significantly worse mood than when I started filming this video. And I kind of want to just stop. So that's what I'm going to do. Thank you all for watching. That was, uh, that was fun. Kind of. Not really. Not at all. That was not fun. Hope it was fun for you. Use a little common sense, do your own research, please just look these things up. If you want, read, um, read this book, it's good, it's not long. Um, and don't believe everything you find on the internet. There are people like this all over the place that think they know what they're talking about, that have done no research and just spew all sorts of random stuff. That's all I have for you, really, I'm not gonna waste any more time. Thank you so much for sticking around, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like this sort of thing, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, uh, or follow me on Instagram at Mischievous my Um I hope to see you in a later video. Thanks so much for being here. Peace out.